you just hit me. That made that brought so much emotion up for me. Wow, I didn't expect that to happen. Um, because I think that's been the goal, you know. And uh, because I think it, ha- it to me, it, what it stands for is is a, a level of um, pride and ownership that. Uh, what you love and what you're great at is something of worth, you know? And, uh, man, I, I had a dream to be a basketball player and no one, no one, excuse my French, no one shit on that. You know, it was, it was supported. It was pushed. It led to a scholarship to college. It led to a career. And I, eventually was able to use that career earnings to do this. So uh, if that jersey represents, um, you know, ownership of your passion, and if your passion is gaming and competing at a professional pro level, then call me, I'll give you one because I want you to wear it. Well, they are, they are, they would make this possible. We're here to serve them, and, and we have, uh, we have our, um, our, our hopes and our, our dreams and our expectations of, of what we can become, but they literally are the ones that, if we're carrying the piano, they're the ones that play the piano, and there is no music here without them passionately wanting to express themselves. <laughs> the elevator pitch uh, of why they are with us or... Why you should be their fan, why you should keep an eye on them. Oh! Oh my gosh. Um, okay, well, we'll start with, we'll start with just Hooney. We'll start with Hooney because he moves with such presence. Uh, and if you are a, if you are in search of a, someone to celebrate, an individual player to aspire to, uh, uh, to become equally as good as, I would inspire you to to, to celebrate Hooney because what you will what you will become a fan of is just pure love for what he does, a love and a joy for 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 his job. He doesn't see it as a job. He 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 loves competing. He loves he loves League of Legends, and man, he he spreads that joy wherever he goes and. That's why we love him. That's why we want him to, wanted him to be a part of our organization. Uh, so you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna find that you will have fun following and celebrating his excellence. So uh, let's see. I will pick another player. Talk, you know, what I want to talk about a behind the scenes player. I call him a behind the scenes player because uh, he was employee number one, and uh, Jake Fife was at the door. Uh, when I knocked after purchasing uh, Gravity, he was at the door when I knocked, and he was the first uh, young man that uh, really kind of guided me through the transition of what we had purchased and what we quite quickly learned had to build in the span of three three weeks to a month. And if it wasn't for his um, his faith and trust that uh, the transition of, of new owners uh, could come in and really be someone that he could work with and be a part of. I don't know what this would look like today. I don't know what I would have <laughs> pieced together. Uh, but he is a player in my mind and my eyes, a key player from behind the scenes for now two years. And he, he said to me that first night, which told me everything I needed to know about him, was this was not something that was a passing fancy for him for a few years, that he knew he wanted esports to be his life. And when he said that, that, that to me is something I look for in a lot of uh, young men and women that we look to hire or that we look to bring on and into our organization, is that are they prepared to dedicate their lives to esports? Because that's what it takes. We're not a part of an industry we're all building an industry, and it's going to take all of our lives. 
you know, there's t certain titles that we look to that that responsibility is expected of, right? The coach is supposed to motivate. Uh, but in my years of, of being a part of teams that have succeeded and failed, I've had great coaches that are very motivating, and I've had coaches that aren't very motivating. Uh, and in both cases, I've won, and both cases, I've lost. Uh, so what I always, I always look to is not so much the title, is I look to the person. And there's usually one or two, in some cases, best case scenarios, it's a group. Uh, it's a group movement, but it's who is leading from a place of heart, who is coming from their heart. Because when you speak from your heart, uh, out comes the truth. And it doesn't have to be necessarily what someone wants to hear, but if it's being delivered with, you know, from, with love and, and, and intent uh, because you care, uh, then the person on the other side is always going to hear it. They may not like it, but they're going to hear it. And in competition, when you're in the throes of competing and things are stressful and it's high and it's low, you need to be able to hear the words of your coach or your teammate or your general manager or your owner. It's who can resonate with the hearts of the team, the heart of the team, the players, who, who is going to reach them so that they hear them and they pull for something that's greater than themselves, that they pull for what's best for everyone. And so when you say, who is that person? You discover that in training camp and preseason. You discover that throughout the season. Sometimes that voice doesn't show up until really later on in the season. But it, it, for a team to be successful, it has to show up at some point. And honestly, it, again, it doesn't have to be graceful. You just have to speak from truth and you have to come from your heart. And, and, it, and if you care about the collective more than you care about yourself, that that message will land. It'll land, and obviously for me in the past, uh, I care about this organization. I care about our players, so anytime I've spoken, I've only spoken from a place of, of love. Love for them, love for wanting them to succeed, and, um, and that's just my truth. For more league interviews and analysis, subscribe to our channel. You can also find stats, discussions, and more on our website and mobile app at blitzesports.com.